Let's continue doing our setup here. We're gonna set up an actor now, and it's gonna be the monster actor. So I'm gonna go here to actors, and I'm gonna click on the plus button. And new actor is not a good name. It's important, of course, to name everything. So I'm gonna double click here, and I'm gonna name this monster. Now, as you can see, when I open this up here, there is no image for this monster. He's basically just a, a white block, which certainly is not very interesting. So let's go to images here, and we have these built-in ones. Let's grab monster red one here, and I'm gonna drag it right over to here. Now, it's probably too big right now, so we're gonna change the size of it. And we're gonna go down right now, it's 240 by 220, so we're gonna change that instead to 60, by 55, so let's do that. So I'm gonna make it 60 here, and change this to 55. That way it's a good size on the screen. Otherwise, when I put it on my scene up here, then I'd have to actually resize it manually, which isn't gonna look very good. Let's go back to Actors, and let's go to Behaviors now. And the behavior we're gonna to wanna to use is a rule. So a faster way to get to that is if I click on my actor here, and I just type in R-U-L-E right here, rule will come up. You can also click up here, this one is add rule. It's up to you, same, same, doesn't really matter how you do it. Uh, it's important that we uh, fix these uh, rules or uh, set these rules, excuse me, name these rules so it's appropriate. So we're gonna have four different rules. We're gonna want a rule that allows the character to move to the right, to the left, to the up, and the down. So this one I'm gonna call rule right. Notice how I capitalized that right there. Uh, I want to use the keyboard to have my character move. So I'm going to do it like this. Uh, in the event of keyboard key, and I'm going to use my arrow key on my keyboard, I'm just going to push it right now. So I'm going to go ahead down here and push my arrow keyboard. See, it goes to right right there. So when I push the keyboard right, or the key right, I want it to move to the right. So I'm going to use a move rule here. I'm going to say move, and this will pop up. Not move to, but move. So I'm gonna do that, there we go. And then I wanna know, make sure I have the right direction. Now you can see right here which direction it's going. It is already going to the right, but if I wanted to go to the left, I would do something like that, and you can see it's moving to the left right there. This is the speed, you can just leave it at 300. Those are things that you can change later on. But for now, I wanna uh, have it just move to the right. So I'm gonna go back to zero here, and there we go. Okay, now this monster should move to the right. Let's test it out. So I'm gonna to go to my scene, and I'm gonna to go to level one, and I'm gonna go back to my actor here, and I'm gonna drag this actor right onto here like this. Then I'm gonna hit this preview button up here, and then we're gonna be able to test it. So I'm gonna hit the right arrow key here. Oops, let's go to level one. Hit the right arrow key here, and look at that. He moves to the right. Now let's make the character move to the left. Let's make the character move up, and have the character or the monster move down using these rules. So I'm gonna hit go up here, I'm gonna hit add rule. So you have a new rule there. And this is gonna be rule left. And I go to keyboard key. And I'm gonna hit the arrow to the left on my keyboard. Left comes up. I'm gonna type in move right here for this behavior. Move, and the direction I want it to go is that way. So that's gonna be 180. Remember, if you're not sure, let's say you put in 90 or something like that, and then you could see this arrow here, and you're like, oops, hey, that's the wrong location. So just use your 360 degrees there until you figure it out. And you can see now I am moving to the left. And that is perfect. I have rule, move left. Speed is 300. That's great. And I'm going to close that. Now, you can continue to make a new rule each time if you want, or you can do a little trick here, and you could copy and paste. So I'm going to go up to Edit copy, and then I'm going to paste it, edit, and paste, and now I'm gonna have another, whoops, I have to do Command V, there we go. There we go. So I've done Command Copy and Command V, sorry, my bad, can't really do the edit copy up there like I thought. And this is rule left, and said I'm gonna have it rule up, and I need to change this, see how much quicker this is? <clears throat> So I'm gonna change that to up, there we go. And then I need to change this to 90, so it points up, see how it points up there? And I've changed it, then I'm done. And now I can Command C to copy, and Command V to paste. And I have two rules up now, and I wanna change this to rule down. So 
I'm going to hit the down key on the keyboard there, down. And I think this is something like 270. There we go. That's correct. And I'm done. Woohoo! I have all those rules set up. So let's test it out. I'm going to click on the preview game here. And I should be able to move my character around. I have to go to level one, of course. Down, up, right, and left. I did it. All right. Now it's your turn. <laughs>